Alright, so recently at the gym, I was able to record my full arm workout, so let's get into that. Uh, my pre workout that I took was Mr. Hyde, but it really didn't do too much to me, so. Um, still check back in 30 days and I'll give a better preview. So, the first movement that we got into, that I got into, was um, barbell curls, 135. Kind of towards the end, I'm struggling with and I'm using my upper back more. Kind of want to stay away from that. You know. And the second movement was the straight bar creature curls. About 115 or 120, I can't remember. And, um, same thing, 8 to 10 reps, 4 sets. Um, make sure you fully extend your arm out, get that nice stretch and contraction. As you can see in my biceps, it's definitely working. Um, third movement here is the single dumbbell pressure curls. Again, you want to get that full stretch and the contraction at the top. Flattens out with the stretch and then balls up with the contraction at the top. Basically, picture it like you want to try to squeeze and hold a melon in between you know, your forearm and your upper arm. And switch to the other hand and same thing. Now, this you can do a little cheating in this movement. You know, it's a, it's a kind of cons Way or hurt yourself a little bit to get it up at the top. It's not too much of a big deal. You're still getting that stretch and contraction. So. That's that. This other movement I got from training with the Kai Green video, um, it's called the Incline Dumbbell Preacher Curl. Um, great movement, um, you just gotta watch your elbows when you curl that you're not moving, just moving your arm forward and you're actually curling. Shout out to the guy that had to get in the shot, was watching me record myself, I know he thought it was crazy, so he had to get in the shot, so there's his face time. Five pound weights, um, same thing, eight to ten reps, four sets. Now, this is the um, cable, cable curls, and I'm glad I recorded this because I could see that my form isn't all that great. You can see my arms are moving forward to curl it, not just letting my arms stretch and contract. So, um, always critique your form, don't get too sloppy with it. I like using this little uh, machine, if you want to call it, better than doing just dumbbell wrist curls or barbell wrist curls. So I kind of get to stretch my wrist out more. Um, uh, 10 to 15 reps, uh, or 10 to 20 reps, 30 reps on a good day, you are you feeling in, you know, feeling great. But increase the weight five pounds in the set. Big ass traps and doubts. Step your training up. So the next movement is the last movement. It's hammer curls. Which is, um, normally I go up each set. Uh, so I'll start with 50 and I'll go up to 55 and 16 and finish with 65. But the shoulder was kind of bothering me that day, so. I just stepped with the 40s and um, 10 reps, 4 sets. And then I weighed myself to, you know, bulking up big. And I weigh 204.4 now. So 
it's not bad being on no fat burner or fish oil pills. So, you know what to do? Subscribe, like, and comment. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. It seems like everyone's afraid to leave a comment with a like video. Leave a comment. Say what's on your mind, ask a question. Hit me up on the Facebook page about that gym life. 